Hey everybody, happy Sunday! We forgot to take the opening earlier. We're at Kennedy Space Center. Let's go check it out. It's a space shuttle. Look where we're going. Look all the way in the distance over there. It's the Vehicle Assembly Building. The Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Check it out. Welcome to Kennedy Space Center. I'm so excited. We haven't been back here since last, last March. You guys excited? Yes. Yeah. This is the NASA equivalent of the Universal Globe at Universal Studios. This is the map, everybody. Just remember all of this for later. Explore. Gotta go through metal detectors to get in here. Much cooler than any theme park. Let's go through Rocket Park. Check out the birds flying over there. Those eagles? No. Eagles flying at NASA? What's more patriotic than that? Crows, like the raven. That's not a crow yeah, or a raven. Boys. By the way, we're not doing the tour here today, but there is a tour guide over there. This is well worth taking. We have a video up of the full tour on our page. You guys look through the videos from when we were here in March. Check out the size of this thing. It's a Saturn One, which came after Sputnik missions. And check this out. Apollo engine mock-up. That is a pretty impressive engine. And this is one of the coolest things that they have here. It's like the walk over to the capsule to get into Apollo 11. One small step for the cheap seats. One giant step for our YouTube audience. <laughs> Check it out. This is awesome. And there you go. That's where they would sit with their headrests. It doesn't look very comfortable. It's the International Space Station. And these are all the countries that participate. Eight times the size of this mural. We're going to go in the astronaut encounter and do a Q&A with one of the astronauts from the Space Shuttle missions. Mars, 
stay in school. <laughs> the reason why we haven't been to Mars yet is it's hard, so there's lots for you all to tackle, and I'm happy to pass the torch on to you. Were you afraid during your first mission? Oh, heck no, I was so excited. <laughs> I have been ready 25 years to find a flying space. And let me tell you, the rocket ride, far better than the simulator. You do the shuttle launch experience, it's fun. But 6.5 million pounds of thrust is incredible. It is just such a dynamic ride. This is a moon tree. It's grown from a seed that was carried on Apollo. This is a very cool section that details our journey into space with the multiple programs. So starting with Apollo, we go to the space shuttle program, and then you get the space station, the commercial crew program, the SLS, which is going on now, it's the Z-series shoot suit, and the Orion. Happening now, SLS. We're gonna go to Mars. I got more Mars stuff and the journey to Mars. And this is really awesome stuff. I can only hope to live to see when we get up there. And over here you've got the Orion multi-purpose crew vehicle. Good thing that guy just knocked on it because I'm sure they have those ropes there for a reason. We're gonna go through the Atlantis exhibit. Check that out. This is not real by the way. That's just a mock-up. Jazz hands! Shuttle Atlantis. This is our second time coming here and it still doesn't matter. I still get choked up even just seeing it. Give you an idea of the length of this. It's just incredibly impressive. Get a close up of the cockpit in there. That's really crazy. So Jesse met an astronaut from 1965, just now, right over there in a wheelchair. He was on the fourth mission in space, and he just talked to us for about 15 minutes about weightlessness in space. He also said that for two hours every day they have to do strengthening exercises so they are not so bad when they come back, but they still are. Yeah, really interesting stuff. We've got a mock-up of the Hubble out here. And my favorite. The short spaceman. <laughs> He's about Mary's height. Yeah, he might be taller than me. <laughs> this has changed a little bit since we were here in March. So we had televisions with some other stuff, interactive displays, and now we've got this, which are like interactive television touchscreens. Oh, Mary yeah. can't get it to go right. Here we go. That's pretty awesome. By the way, this orange suit that astronauts wear as they're launching into space has a connection to Halloween. If you know what the connection is, leave me a note in the comments below. This is a shuttle main engine. Pretty insane. And there it is in position on the rear of the shuttle. This is a really crazy look at the underbelly of Atlantis. You can see all the individual tiles up there, which is what we just learned about earlier with our astronaut encounter and the fact that each of these need to be inspected before it was coming in for re-entry. One thing that's really fun about most of the exhibits here, at least in Atlantis, you can touch screen like everything. So Jesse's having a ball, Mary was touching stuff up above. You just interact with everything. So behind this wall in the Atlantis exhibit is a time capsule that'll be open in 2061. That's pretty awesome. And now new to Atlantis is what I want to see. This is an honoring of the astronauts that had their lives lost in both the Challenger and Columbia explosions. And these are items that have never been available to see previously.
a shuttle launch experience. Oh yeah. What'd you think of the ride? I like the ride. I think it's pretty awesome. Very disorienting. When you get off the ride, you get like this vision of what Earth looks like from the space shuttle as you're orbiting, as well as plaques for every mission that the shuttle has been on. And then for the missions that failed, they have them in gold plaques. They've got an Astro van out here, and more importantly, they've got Mary sitting in a corner because she's afraid of that ride. They've got NASA Turvis guys! Look at this robot, this is amazing! I would never use this as a keychain, but oh, it's six bucks only too. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Mary pointed this guy out to me. Another Domo. Domo. He's a magnet. We're gonna get him. Those are both pretty cute. They are cute. Which one do you like better? I like this one. The monkey? There's a teddy bear too. <laughs> oh, and he's got the, the uh, initial suit on. Kneeling bus. That guy's dancing. Which will require close to a two year round trip. The vehicle that will carry Orion is the Space Launch System, or SLS. SLS will be the most powerful rocket in history, but more important, it's designed to be flexible and evolvable in order to meet a wide variety of crew and cargo mission requirements. We're approaching the vehicle assembly building. It's the tallest single-story building in the world. We were lucky enough to take video inside the vehicle assembly building during a NASA social meetup. Back in February or March of this year, we have a video up. We'll put a link to it below. That tower out there is for transporting the SLS new rocket system out to the moon. Here's a better shot of the tower. It'll take the SLS rocket out to the pad for launch. I'm here on our right. It's one of our launch platforms. We have three of them all together. The launch platform and the launch tower is going to take the new SLS rocket out to the launch pad. Over here, and this uh, platform is setting up on top of these pedestals. This is our future up here on the right. This is a mobile launch platform and a mobile launching tower. And all you need is your rocket on the side of it. And the crawler will go underneath of it also, pick it up off the pedestal, and carry it all down to launch bed B, which is our future uh, launch plat platform. Uh, you will see that as we go around. In 2021, they'll test out the new and ship. The 2025, we're going to go to they're hoping Mars. to capture an asteroid. So in 2030, they're on track to go to Mars. Here, but they might That's be going to college at Mars. If you, and they control the launch for the first eight seconds. Then they turn it over to Mission Control in Houston, Texas. Way back. So the Over there on the right there. is Launch Pad 41. That is where SpaceX is using right now. Uh, most of their launches are from there. And if you're lucky enough to get seats out here at the gantry, you have the best seats in the house. You're only three miles from the launch pad for. So that's a good place to be, I'll tell you. All right. Launch platform, a mobile launch platform, and that mobile launching tower and a rocket is going to come to. This is going to be our future. This is where we will be launching from. Those three towers around it are over 600 feet tall. There's an end cable in between them to shoot all the lightning to the ground, hopefully. Uh, I don't figure they'll be setting out here more in a couple, three days. Fly several orbits around the Earth, then perform a translunar injection, which will send them on a path from Earth orbit towards the moon. Once the crew gets near the moon, Orion will pass within 60 miles of the surface, and from there, Orion can enter into a high lunar orbit several thousand miles from the surface. By the way, if you're coming here and you've been here before, the bus tour is completely new. We just redid it um, over the last month. We've done it three times over the last 12 months, so... Lots of new stuff? I like it. Oh, it's awesome. We're just gonna launch a rocket now. No biggie.
That is pretty freaking awesome. By the way, this is called a Saturn V rocket because of these five engines. That makes it a Saturn V. It's the astronaut van. This is what they use to transport the Apollo crews. It's the inside of the astronaut van with Jesse dancing. This is the full length of that Saturn V rocket. 360 feet or so odd, I believe. I know, I'm probably butchering that. I was pretty close, 363 feet. Compared to the space shuttle, it's 184 feet. So, in comparison, the Apollo or Saturn V rocket is just about the same length as an American football field. Here's a lunar module. Or better remembered from such classic arcade games as Lunar Lander. Mary called it a giant Rolo. This is so sick too. Little lunar rover. Moon buggy. Okay, okay, okay. Also a classic Atari video game. We've got a space helmet, a space suit, and moon boots. This is so cool. And this is very cool. You can touch a piece of the moon. Jesse's gonna touch the moon. Today will be long remembered as the day that she gets her superpowers. It's Moon Girl! <laughs> Look, they have Skylab, multiple docking adapter. I remember when we were kids, Skylab fell from the sky. Oh, I remember that too! Oh my god! <laughs> They've got a lunar sample in here. I would love to collect a lunar sample. Why don't you buy me a lunar sample? Didn't we buy you all these rocks last time? Those were meteorites. I want a lunar sample. Too bad. <laughs> it's the Apollo 14 capsule. I love the weathering on it. Check this out. This is an RCA television camera from 1968. Really not that big considering the time frame. That's really awesome. Here's a lunar scooper. That sounds funny. And aside from the moon rock, I think this is the coolest thing that they have in here. This is the flight plan from Apollo 7. Apollo 1. Is it Apollo oh, oh, 1? I'm sorry. It's wah, wah, wah. Sorry. <laughs> Can you tell that we've been married for 16 years? <laughs> We're taking this crazy green screen picture. You guys will see it when it's done. Well, there you go. Mary looks comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. We're working magic. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, we've got other family members coming in here now. Oh, look at that. I wish I did that pose. <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> We're all together now. Check out these shot glasses. These are pretty awesome. Da 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 the last time we were here, we bought like this sample set of three meteorite fragments. Now they've got these giant meteorites. This one's $7,500 and this one's $10,000. Hey, weird transition time. We're back home. That was a lot of fun going out to Kennedy Space Center today. I love being able to check out all of the artifacts that they have out there. And the tour was so awesome because it focused on all of the new stuff that's coming up, which gets you really excited for where we're going to be able to go over the next few years. But I know what we're going to sign off for today. So thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys.